In this battle, we're going to test two steam tanks against the Blood Knights. The steam tanks are allowed to fire on the uh, Blood Knights as they run towards them. And the shots from the steam tank, fairly accurate, already taken down six Blood Knights from this unit. And not as many from this unit, but yeah, you can see down to 36. It's fairly accurate. Down to 40. Now the Blood Knights reach the uh, tank, and the tank could try to pull out here and kite with its uh, kite with its steam gun, but it's it's, there, it's not going to be able to pull out very easily from these uh, Blood Knights. Uh, let's just see how long the Blood Knights take to kill the steam tank, because looking at the looking at the amounts of hit points here, it's it's fairly obvious that the that the Blood Knights are going to be able to take out the steam tank. Let's see when it explodes, and um, there we go, one steam tank is down, the second one is about to go down. So in a rush type of scenario, uh, you would get your steam tank the hell away from, from the, from the um, Blood Knight. However, you could of course support your steam tank with a unit of Spearman or support it with uh, Demogriff Knights, and then things would change a lot. But just rushing the steam tank, the Blood Knights, due to their bonus versus large, are able to take on the steam tank and come out on top. And they are cheaper. Strength and armor.